Oh, my friends, OU Nebraska in the final Big 12 championship game ever. And as Shaq reports, this series, as we know, has a history of its own. Thanks, Al. The OU Nebraska series is one of the great rivalries in all of college football. It's almost hard to imagine that these two teams won't be in the same conference next year. You know, 12 times from 1970 to 1988, this game was decided by a touchdown or less. The Sooners expect the same kind of game Saturday in Dallas. One of the more special rivalry, rivalries in all of football, and it's really fitting then that, that, that here it is, our last time we're together in, in the conference together to have one more, uh, I like to say, one more go at it. It's uh, really kind of exciting for everybody. In addition to the tradition of the two programs, the two head coaches go way back. The Stoops and Pellini family names are pretty famous back in Youngstown, Ohio. It's very much a, a blue-collar environment. Um, work hard for, for anything you get. you got to earn it. Uh, you know, nothing's given to you, and be willing to fight for it. You know, there's uh, that's just kind of uh, I think everybody's nature back there, and, <laughs> and we never had any trouble fighting for it back then. Both of these coaches have players that are in question. Bob Stoops is unsure about Demarco Murray. Bo Pelini has listed Taylor Martinez as day to day. Reporting from Norman, Jason Shackle for Two News works for you. Shaq, thanks. Big 12 teams named today and all nine Cowboys to the first team. That's an OSU record. Meanwhile, Justin Blackman, Offensive Player of the Year. Meanwhile, for Oklahoma, Ryan Broyles and DeMarco Murray had the OU list. Eric Mensick as well. Jeremy Beal named the Conference Defensive Lineman of the Year. And Quinton Carter is a Defensive Backfield Finalist.